What's up, YouTube Fragrance family? Tommy with Studio Sense here. Welcome to a brand new day and a brand new release by Paco Rabanne. The latest Paco Rabanne Invictus release was the very well-received Invictus Victory. I, for one, really enjoy the Invictus DNA for colder weather, but colder weather's pretty much given up the ghost for spring and the very soon coming summer. So it's no shock really that Paco Rabanne is releasing a spring and summer, primarily summer release or edition of the Invictus DNA called Invictus Platinum. So when we return, I'm gonna do a brief unboxing. I'll give you my first impressions of this new Invictus flanker. That and more is coming your way, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone and welcome to today's first impression video of a brand new Invictus flanker called Invictus Platinum. They took Hells Angels wings and put it on an Invictus bottle and therefore we've got the new motorcycle gang version of Invictus. It's just another Invictus flanker and it's probably going to smell like Invictus with just a bit of a tweak. Now, that's not necessarily a negative thing. If you're a lover of Invictus, then you're probably looking forward to this. If you're curious about this, let's go ahead and check out before anything else that very familiar presentation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw up right here the presentation video and we'll talk about it. Now this box is very hard to read any kind of font on it. It is pure silver and a shiny silver, metallic silver. On the very front of the box, of course, you've got the Invictus logo. It says Invictus Platinum. It's an Eau de Parfum concentration, 100 ml bottle or 3.4 fluid ounces. Now on the sides of the box, there's no additional information. On the back of the box is a QR code specific to Invictus Platinum. And below that are three caveats that are very hard to read. It says made in France. It is a vegan, all vegan formula, and it's extremely long lasting. On the bottom of the box, you've got the batch code of 20191. You've also got a UPC as well as some ingredients information. Below the ingredients can only be sold by an authorized Paco Rabanne distributor. On the top of the box is the PR logo. And then of course we have the very familiar Invictus Winner's Cup trophy or presentation. Now this is a little bit lighter than Invictus Victory, which is black. This one has a gray glass body with the silver wings on the front. And then of course everything else is the same. The glass is the same and the silver sides of the trophy bottle slash presentation slash flacon are exactly the same. It of course says Invictus on the top below the pump button that you depress and then of course Paco Rabanne around the side. And that's pretty much it for the presentation. Again, if you really enjoy the Paco Rabanne Invictus style, this is very similar. Now this does come in two other sizes. It comes in a 200 mil size and it comes in a 50 mil size. So you have a total of three sizes depending upon what you feel that you want to get. Now the bottle is nice, it's very cool. Again, looks like it's got the Hells Angels wings emblazoned on the front of the, the gray glass. Now this actually is transparent. You can see the juice. If you look close enough, you can actually see through. It's a light gradient. So you go from a darker gray to a lighter gray near the bottom. So that's kind of, kind of cool, a little bit different. Speaking of the juice, what about the fragrance is different than the standard Invictus? Now we know Invictus Victory was the cold weather version of Invictus. This promises to be the summer, new summer version of Invictus with the primary difference as absinthe. Now before we talk about what exactly is absinthe, let's go ahead and check out the actual notes that make up Invictus Platinum. Invictus Platinum by Paco Rabanne features top notes of absinthe and grapefruit with heart notes of lavender and oak moss resting on a base of mint and patchouli. So that's all the published notes that they're showing us. There's probably more, but this looks to be a very summertime version of the Invictus DNA. In fact, looking over the notes, there's another fragrance that came out last year or two years ago that uh, included absinthe, only it had lime and absinthe. That fragrance was the very maligned Coach Blue. Now Coach Blue, I think is a great fragrance. It just doesn't have any life to it. It's an eau de toilette. 
This is an eau de parfum, so maybe it'll take that kind of coach blue, absinthe, ozonic kind of fresh sensation and take it even further in terms of performance. To me, that would be great. Now that we know what the notes are, let's go ahead and check out the juice and see what it smells like. I don't think the atomizer is going to be any different than any other of the Invictus fragrances. Let's check out the sprayer here, the pump. I mean, it's very easy to depress. It looks awkward, but it actually, it's got that button in the very center. You just push it down, I'll show you, I waste another one here. I mean, it comes out pretty far and a good amount of juice. That smells really good. It smells really very, very sharp, very brisk and very sweet. It's very sweet. Invictus is a sweet fragrance, of course. Definitely carries a very bright citrus, aromatic sweetness to it that is categorically Invictus. And I'm definitely getting a very heavy absinthe citrus combination here, which is extremely refreshing. In fact, that's my favorite thing about Coach Blue is that absinthe note. In here, it has that the only missing component is the ozonic notes that make it a little bit lighter in Coach Blue. It's a little bit heavier in here, which I kind of like that. Kind of like that little bit heavier absinthe. The mint, it goes really well with the absinthe here. And that's what's making it very, almost juniper-like, very sharp, kind of reaches out and grabs your olfactive attention and holds on to it. The most notable aspect of Invictus Platinum right now is the absinthe grapefruit open. Starting to dry down a little bit on the tester strip. It's maintaining that very sharp, refreshing, fresh out of the shower kind of grab your attention absinthe in the in the heart and in the base. So to me, that's probably gonna be the primary aspect of the personality of platinum is, is that note of absinthe and mint, kind of absinthe mint combination. There's not really a lot that's gonna be darker in the base because there's no darkness here. This is a very light, sweet fragrance. Again, if you're not a fan of Invictus, the sweetness of Invictus, you're probably not gonna like platinum. Instead of the bubblegum Invictus, this is more of an absinthe minty, fresh summer version of that bubblegum DNA. So it's a little bit less youthful. I feel like anyone of any age can carry this off. Let me try it now on skin and we'll... Okay, I'm gonna let this dry down on my skin and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts on Invictus Platinum. First of all, what does absinthe smell like? Absinthe is, you might think it's boozy. You're thinking of the boozy version of, of absinthe, but it's also a very nuanced blend of star anise, which is like licorice. A uh, fennel, nutmeg, a little bit of mint in there, a little bit of cassia, some fresh green herbal notes, along with a, a bit of warm amber. Now that's a lot, but that's kind of the bearing or the tonality of the note of absinthe in men's fragrance. And it's also very green fresh too, and I've mentioned that, but that green freshness can't be overstated because it's a fantastic summertime note that I feel like we're going to see more in men's fragrance, especially with the, the advent of this new Invictus flanker. It's almost aquatic. It's so green fresh, like, and that's what I think makes this a perfect shower kind of fragrance or after shower fragrance, uh, not necessarily a shower gel fragrance because it doesn't smell soapy at all, but uh, it is just sweet, lightly herbal green, and that, that absinthe and mint note makes it extremely eye-opening. On my skin, it's lasting really well, so I feel like as an eau de parfum, this is gonna perform extremely well. Invictus Victory is a great performer. I feel like Invictus Platinum is gonna be the great performer for the summer 2022. So again, it comes in three sizes at Macy's and various department stores. Right now, you're gonna pay upwards of 115 for the 200 mil, you're gonna pay about 100 bucks or 80 some, depending upon if it's on sale at Macy's for the 100 mil bottle. And then of course, right around 75, 80 bucks for the 50 mil bottle. Is it worth the price of admission? Probably gonna be a while before it hits discounters. If you're an absolute fan of the Invictus DNA and you're a fan of the presentation and you just are a completionist, a collector, then you'll probably want to spend the money and just go ahead and get it. Because with this whole supply chain issue, a lot of people are worried about scarcity when it comes to fragrances. If you're operating under a budget, wait until it hits discounters. You can buy the poor man's version of Platinum and Coach Blue. It's not quite as sweet, but it does have that nice absinthe note that it carries throughout the life of the fragrance. But that life is relatively short. I think it's gonna be a lot longer in Platinum. So far, it's projecting really well, and I find it extremely refreshing and very enjoyable. A great summertime scent, a great new Invictus flanker to add to your summer rotation if you're a lover of all things Invictus.
Well guys, that's it for my first impressions of Paco Rabanne's Invictus Platinum. If you've already tried this out, already own it, tried a sample, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Again, thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with StudioSense, and I'll see you tomorrow.